What's up, guys? Uh, maybe you guys can help me with an argument I've been having with my mom. Uh, we are arguing whether the words twister and tornado are synonymous, you know? Because she was saying, like, twister, that's a word for tornado. But I'm saying, like, they're not interchangeable, okay? Like a, like a titty twister? That's a nightmare, you know? But a titty tornado? That's like a dream come true. That's pretty cool. That's pretty dang cool. Uh, uh, how, do we, how do we feel about gender roles? Let's get a po No opinion at all. Well, I'll let you, we hate them, okay? They're bad. Boo, we hate them. No good, gotta go, okay? Me personally, I can't, I can't stand those things. If, if, if gender roles were like a, like a pair of skyscrapers in lower Manhattan, I fly a plane right into those things. I, I can't stand them, you know? So now I'm trying to do my part, right? You know, I'm trying to get rid of gender roles. So uh, recently I hired a male cleaning lady. Uh, that was pretty big of me. The old one, she was upset, but you know, that's, that's what progress looks like. Uh, you know, some people say uh, women belong in the kitchen. Not me, okay? I don't let them in there. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, my kitchen, it's home alone, okay? There's, there's booby traps everywhere. So, you know, my mom, my girlfriend, they try to go in there, they're gonna get pelted with household items in a very funny way. Uh, uh, some people say uh, uh, women should smile more. Not me, uh, no, I don't, I'm not saying that. You know, I go outside, I see a woman smiling, I say, cut that out, that's disgusting. <laughs> I say no more of that, okay? <laughs> get, get back in the house, okay? But not, not the kitchen, that's for guys now. So don't, don't touch that. Um, uh, do you guys have the D.A.R.E. program? You ever taken the D.A.R.E. program? Yeah, okay. I was the, I was the D.A.R.E. essay contest winner, not to brag. Uh, bad program, didn't work. Uh, I'll, I'll smoke a cigarette in the rain, okay? I, <laughs> Did not work. Uh, I had an especially ineffective dare teacher too, because like on day one, she revealed that her husband chewed tobacco. Credibility out the window, you know? I mean, that's like a driver's ed teacher with like two DUIs. Like that's, you can't take her seriously, you know? And she told us that and we're like, isn't, isn't that bad? And she's like, oh, well, it's, it's not that bad. And we're like, oh, really? Because page nine says that it will kill me and my entire family. <laughs> page 10 says it drives wedges between communities, you know? <laughs> and she's like, well, it's not like heroin. And I was like, okay, so there's a ranking here, right? Let's <laughs> put them in order from fun to devastating. Like, <laughs> where's the line, you know? And she was like, it, guys, it's no big deal. And we're like, why would you marry a drug addict? You know, like... <laughs> do you even take this pledge seriously? And she was like, I don't know. I, uh, I was planning to be a lawyer. We got pregnant too early, you know, <laughs> things happen. And, you know, I didn't learn about drugs, but I learned about the complexities of adult love, okay? Which is also important. Uh, and eventually she was fired uh, because she was doing like a call and response, you know? So she was like, uh, okay, kids, now, now what do you say if an older kid offers you tobacco? And we were like, Will you marry me? And then she's, uh, <laughs> she was gone. Uh, 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 how do you guys feel about uh, doggy style? Doggy style. Okay. Yeah, okay. I, I was taking a read. I thought I, it was a very sexual crowd. I didn't, you know. Doggy style, pretty good style up there for sure. Uh, uh, my personal favorite, Clifford the Big Red Doggy style, okay? <laughs> That's how I prefer to do it. Uh, which is uh, imaginary sex uh, <laughs> that, I, that I write down and I, and I illustrate and, uh, and then I, I publish in a book for children. And that's, uh, <laughs> and that's just how I do it, so. Um, uh, I, uh, there's no easy way to get into this joke, so um, my, uh, my penis is half-circumcised. 
Thank you, thank you. Yeah, the rare two out of four skin, you almost never see it. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's unique, you know? A lot of people don't know about the third option, you know? They're, they're talking cut, uncut. No one talks about malpractice, you know? No one? And I'm, I'm kind of the, the poster child, you know? And uh, it's cool, though. You know, I, like, I own it, right? Like, I think it's fun. Like, you know, if you think about it, the first guy that touched my penis lost his medical license, okay? That's pretty cool, you know? The last guy that touched it, he lost a bet, but... Nice guy, honorable man, honorable man. And you know, that's gonna happen, you know? Every, every job has a first day, even baby penis doctor, you know? That's, that's just how it is, right? Uh, but I, I like to think of it as the best of both worlds, you know? It's like, a, it's like a bifocal penis, right? Like, that's how I look. Like, it, my penis is half Jewish. That's pretty cool, you know? In that way, me and Drake, kind of the same penis, if you, if you think about it like that, which I do. And uh, uh, visually speaking, you know, like, like an uncut piece is like a hoodie, right? I have like a popped collar, you know? It's... Uh, just a little bit going on there. But you know, all in all, nice piece. If you're in the area, check it out. <laughs> Bring the family. It's, uh, it's, it's worth your while. Um, I, uh, I grew up Catholic and uh, my mom every year gets, gets our priest a bottle of wine for Christmas, which uh, is such a strange, like, uh, first of all, priests shouldn't drink, okay? For a lot of reasons, you know? And, uh, but like mostly wine as a drink, it's like wine is the, is the blood of Christ, you know? So like a, like a priest sommelier is strange to me, right? Just like tasting wine, being like, hmm, I'm getting a lot of platelets. Yeah, that's, uh, <laughs> there's plague in there. It's subtle, but I, I taste it, you know? Uh, and so what, what people aren't talking about though, red wine, blood of Christ, but white wine, guys, that's the piss of Christ, okay? That's... <laughs> That's what no one wants to talk about, all right? And I'm here, I'm telling you. A lot of people don't know the difference between uh, a white wine and champagne. White wine, the piss of Christ. Champagne, the piss of Christ, but from France. A lot of people, <laughs> common misconception. Uh, and uh, so I'm not really Catholic anymore, you know, but I kind of still believe in God, like, like my own version of God, right? Because like, if there's no God, then, then how come my girlfriend's finger is shaped just like the inside of my asshole, okay? <laughs> There's a creator behind that, okay? That's intelligent design, all right? I, I, that's just, that's proof right there. The proof of the, you know. And she's always checking God's miracle, you know? She is always, <laughs> that's just what it is, you know? And, um, uh, the Catholic Church has a lot of good stories, too. You know, they, they love metaphors, you know. And when I was a kid, they would uh, tell us this thing to, like, keep us from having premarital sex. Uh, they would say, if you have sex before marriage, that's like cracking open an Oreo, and you lick the cream frosting, and then you hand it to the next person, eh, you know, and down the line. They all lick it. And then it gets to the last person, they marry that Oreo, and they have to eat all of it. Oh, <laughs> disgusting, you know. That, that was my whole sex education. <laughs> you shouldn't do sex education in metaphors. You should be very direct. Uh, and like now I have a big problem with that metaphor, you know, cause like they're, they're, it's flawed, right? Uh, almost every girl that I know washes her Oreo, you know, like <laughs> pretty regularly. So not a big deal. And it's like, the Oreo we're talking about, no one's in it for the taste, you know? Like, like if an Oreo has like piss and other fluids coming out, I could give a shit if a guy named Greg licked it before me, you know? I can move, I can move past that. Um, but, uh, you know, I, I do have, there, you know, Catholic Church can make some improvements. I, uh, I think what I'd start with actually is uh, no more stained glass windows, okay? Clear windows only. Let's see what's going on in there, okay? <laughs> Quit hiding, okay? If they draw the blinds at a Catholic church, call the police, okay? There's, there's an altar boy getting holy molied in there, and uh, <laughs> that's no good. 
Uh, I, uh, I, I became an ordained minister. Uh, I, I officiated my friend's wedding. Fun time. Uh, within five minutes of meeting the bride's brother, he called me gay, uh, which is pretty common where I'm from. But it, uh, what happened is he, he was showing me pictures of his dog named Margo, and I was like, oh, Margo, like the To Kill a Mockingbird character. And he goes, uh, no, gay. Uh, <laughs> He goes, uh, it's named after Margot Robbie, like the hottest woman alive. Uh, I was like, oh, because your, your dog's very hot. You want to have sex with your dog. And, uh, <laughs> and he's like, uh, no, dude. I want to have sex with Margot Robbie. Like, what would you name your dog? And I was like, um, trans Jason Momoa, you know, just <laughs> off the dome, you know? Uh, you guys have been great. Have a good night. Thank you. <laughs>